Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyan and welcome to Revolution. I've been a little inactive lately so I just want to apologise for that but I had my marriage to my beautiful wife so actually I don't really apologise for that but anyway I hope you get what I'm saying. Anyway on today's video what we are going to be discussing is the fact that people still not just in our community but in the Marvel communities and the DC community cannot accept that Goku, as of Dragon Ball Super, is now at universe busting level. Now, obviously, the title of this video says that Goku is a universe buster. Deal with it. However, Goku is actually much stronger than that, but people seem to have some sort of cognitive dissonance when it comes to Goku and can only refer to the Screw Attack videos that are one of the most uncredible sources on Goku's power available today. Seriously, those guys are pathetic and I really suggest you do not take anything they say about Dragon Ball seriously. Anyway, aside from how crap they are, what I'm going to do is put all the evidence on the table to show you how Goku is at bare minimum universe busting level and basically make you have to deal with it because Goku is at universe level. Now, I think what a lot of people find hard to accept is the absolute hack in power Goku got when he became a Super Saiyan God. At the end of Z, he was, if you wank him off, close to galaxy level at best. In fact, the only being we knew that could take out a galaxy at that time was Kid Buu, and even he did it over time. He didn't do it all in one go. Goku was at his level as a Super Saiyan 3, so you expect that Goku could probably do a very similar fear. But after all that time training in Z, Goku could potentially only take out one galaxy, and there are 200 million galaxies in the universe. Not only that, the Dragon Ball macrocosm is the size of three of our universes. So how has it that Goku has managed to transcend himself so much with the Super Saiyan God transformation that he could shake that macrocosm? Well, we will just take a look at that macrocosm for a moment. As you can see in the bottom half of this globe, that is the mortal universe. That is the equivalent to our universe. It's the same size as stated by Akira Toriyama in an interview. And as you can see, the top half of that globe is the cosmos. So basically, that is two times the size of our normal universe within that globe itself. And then you have to consider that little pin at the bottom, which is the Mikayo Shin realm, as well as that planet that is orbiting this sphere, and that is the supreme world of the Kais. Now, if you take into consideration the amount of extra space that radius consists of, that makes this whole globe, as well as that radius from the Supreme Kai's, the size of three of our very own universes. And then obviously you've got to take into consideration where is Beerus' planet. Now while it's only a theory, I do have a theory on where Beerus' planet is, and you can check that out on my channel. It's aptly named Beerus Planet Theory, so go check that out after this video. So there you have the construct of what the Universe 7 is in Dragon Ball Super. And obviously when Goku fights against Beerus with using his Super Saiyan God transformation, there is a moment where they keep clashing fists. And this happens three times. This sends the Elder Kai into a frenzy who proclaims that it's going to destroy the universe if they keep this up. And even Whis concurs with this. Now obviously Elder Kai is a former Supreme Kai and Whis is an angel. So you would like to think that they have a very good amount of knowledge on this subject. Now, Elder Kai and Kibido Kai at that time could feel the impact from those clashes all the way on the planet they were currently residing at, which was the Supreme World of the Kais. And as mentioned earlier, that is actually orbiting the universe and the cosmos. So basically, these clashes weren't just transcending the mortal universe, they were transcending all three universes. Now, I know they're not technically three universes, but they are the equivalent size of three universes. Now, a lot of Goku Universal naysayers try to downplay this whole event by saying it was Beerus and not Goku who was causing the universe to collapse. Well, to that, I say bullshit, simply because 
Elder Kai confirms that Goku wasn't only matching Beerus's attack, he, by the third attempt, managed to find a way to angle his attack to completely cancel out Beerus's attack and nullify the damage that the aftermath of the collision was causing. And if he failed to angle his attack on that third go, we may well have seen the wiping out of Universe 7. Now, three attempts, there are the equivalent to three universes in the Universe 7 macrocosm, so that literally suggests that each attempt could wipe out the equivalent to one universe. Now I hear you saying, but there were still two of them, and that argument I can accept. So, basically, in that instant, you could say that Super Saiyan God Goku had, at the very least, the destructive capacity to dismantle half a universe. Now, that is 100 million galaxies. That's 100 million times more than what he was capable of at a highball at the end of Z. Now, that is one monstrous power hack, and basically... The only way to describe it is the Super Saiyan God ritual literally gifted the Z Warriors, well Goku in particular, a new league of power. A power level that was completely unobtainable through anything they were currently doing in terms of training. Now remember guys that Goku refused the chance to do fusion with Vegeta using the Patara earrings because he didn't feel it would be powerful enough to take on Beerus. So that indicates that Super Saiyan God is stronger than Vegito, and you could even consider the hypothetical Super Saiyan 3 Vegito in that equation. So that is one monstrous power up, considering that Vegito is Goku times Vegeta. So back to the fact that Goku could destroy half a universe. Well, obviously that is not universe busting, it is high galaxy busting, if anything. But as we know from watching Dragon Ball Super, Goku has completely transcended the Super Saiyan God form. I'm going to ignore the fact that in that very same fight for us Beerus, he actually kept getting stronger, indicating he could do even more damage. But let's just move on to the Super Saiyan Blue transformation. Now, we don't actually have a lot to go on on how powerful Super Saiyan Blue is. The only official claim that's been made in the show thus far is when Goku says that the Super Saiyan Blue transformation is Super Saiyan God with the power of Super Saiyan. Now we know from the Super Exciting Guides as well as an interview with Akira Toriyama that the Super Saiyan transformation is a 50 times multiplier. I personally am not totally sure that that multiplier occurs with Super Saiyan Blue. So I'm going to incredibly low ball this transformation and say it's only two times Super Saiyan God. Now the only reason I'm low balling this is because we don't have an actual figure and I know some people will throw hissy fits if I make a higher claim. So two times Super Saiyan God. Well that puts Goku at universal level. Half a universe but half a universe is a universe. So basically there you have it, Goku is a universe buster, but we can go even further than that really, because we know that Goku in his Super Saiyan Blue form has actually increased its power. He has trained in the Room of Spirit and Time with Vegeta for three years, he has partook in the Universe 6 vs Universe 7 God of Destruction tournament, he has fought against Copy Vegeta, he has since taken on Goku Black, Future Zamasu, and even merged Zamasu, for hit again. So basically, as of right now, that Super Saiyan Blue form has gone through an awful lot of training. But we're going to ignore all that. Still, he's at universal level. But in that fight, as I mentioned earlier, with hit, he uses the 10 times Kaioken. Now, that technique he learned from the North Kai, and basically it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a 10 times multiplier of your power, and he can use Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken stacked on top. So, that would basically put Goku at 10 times universal. Now, in that fight against Hit, 
Goku is starting to tire out. He's starting to get key disease from the Kaioken times 10 because of the amount of pressure it puts on the body. However, when he fights Hit for the second time after going through that rigorous fight with Goku Black and Co, he manages to draw with Hit in his regular Super Saiyan Blue form. Hit is also trying to use his assassination techniques, which he wasn't allowed to do so in the Universe 6 vs Universe 7 God of Destruction tournament, and it ends up in a tie. That suggests that Goku is 10 times stronger than what he was in that tournament in just his Super Saiyan Blue form. Then we see him use the Kaioken again in the preliminaries to the Tournament of Power, suggesting he can still stack it on top. And not only that, he doesn't suffer the same key disease that he suffered before in that original tournament. So basically, if Goku was 10 times universal at the end of the Universe 6, Universe 7 tournament with his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, then he is actually equal to Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 when fighting a hit for the second time, then using Kaioken times 10 again would literally make him 100 times universal. That sounds absurd. Goku could wipe out all the universes within Zenosama's jurisdiction. But going by simple math, and actually this is lowballing Goku, that is where he stands. And that is actually going without taking into consideration certain elements like his training with Vegeta and his Rumor Spirit and Time, as well as any Zenkai boosts he would have got through fighting with some adversaries, as well as training with Whis. So he is quite obviously even stronger than 100 times, but I am lowballing him as much as possible. Anyway, that number, like I said, seems absurd, and I can definitely empathise with that opinion, but this is simply where he stands. Do I think Akira Toriyama or even Toyotaro or the guys over at Toei think about this kind of stuff? Absolutely not. They probably don't give a rat's arse about it. But if you take that fiat from the Battle of Gods and multiply it by the multipliers that you get from Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken times 10, as well as his improvement versus hit in the second fight, then Kaioken times 10 again, then that is what you get, 100 times universal. But Goku has never actually destroyed a universe, you say? Well, of course not. Why would Goku want to destroy a universe? I could smash the glass that's right next to me now, but I don't want to because it would be a stupid idea and ultimately will only inflict damage to myself. But does that mean I'm not glass level? And it will only serve to kill him and his family and friends. So it's not a bright idea. Anyway, I just want you to take into consideration that that fiat in the Battle of Gods was with a punch. Imagine what he's capable of with a full power of Kamehameha. So basically guys, I hope I've put that forth to you as clear and as concise as possible. Goku is universal and basically if you can't accept that, that is cognitive dissonance to the highest degree. Anyway guys, if you like my videos, please smash that like button with a universe busting attack. Hitting that like button really helps my videos out and it helps them get seen. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I suggest you do. I have so much good content coming on the way, as well as a library full of great content that I am sure you will enjoy. Comment in the comment section what you think about this video, and remember one very important final thing. If you stay calm in any situation, you will never, e -e -e ever become a Super Saiyan. Hello guys, with that beautiful face in the top left corner, punch me in the face to subscribe to my channel and here is some more content from my channel which I am very very sure you will all enjoy.